Hi everyone, here is Roxana from CAR2NG. I know that today you are starting the mapathons on Ethiopia. So before you start having fun, I was just uh, thinking to share with you some uh, insights over um, Ethiopia. So in Ethiopia, there are 20, 26 uh, refugee camps and uh, there are more than 900,000 refugees uh, that uh, are located in all these camps. In uh, 2019, uh, the challenge was to uh, map five of uh, these refugees camps. As you can see, um, there were already some refugees camps that were um, present in uh, OpenStreetMap, but um, uh, the focus now was on other five uh, new ones uh, in the um, northeast and uh, east and southeast of uh, Ethiopia. So at that time, there was um, um, big help that we received from you, the volunteers. So we, and with this occasion, we'd like to tell you again, big thank you. Uh, so there were um, a series of mapathons that took place in uh, 12 cities in France with more than 200 volunteers involved. And you can see that all of you have created a huge amount of data that didn't exist before. Uh, almost uh, 30,000 buildings and more than 700 kilometers of roads. What came out of uh, these mapathons uh, for all these uh, five camps, uh, we had the um, shelter footprints and the road network. And uh, how did we use your work? So uh, the data that you created during the mapathons was uh, corrected and um, uh, pushed in uh, OpenStreetMap. Uh, then we imported this uh, data in the UNHCR GIS database. And we use it for uh, doing uh, mobile data collection in the field. And you can see here, uh, we have the Mayaini camp, uh, the data that was created during the mapathons on the left side and on the right, right side, um, um, we added on the base map data that you created, we added the data on uh, infrastructures, uh, more exactly the GPS points we took in the field with the phones uh, for, um, for the camp infrastructures. Uh, there are also some fun facts, um, and that's why we love uh, to work uh, with you, because uh, um, it is fun. Uh, so the first fun fact, it was that uh, while we were in the field, uh, we discovered that there might be castles in the refugee camps. Uh, there were some buildings that were tagged as castle. Of course, this was uh, uh, there was no castle there, but it was funny to... Uh, um, yeah, to have something that makes you smile during those hot days in the field. Uh, a second fun fact was that it was a challenge to go from uh, point A uh, to point B. Um, I know that you are giving your best to map the road network, uh, but uh, most of the times the satellite imagery doesn't have the best um, um, quality or best resolution. So uh, yeah, sometimes not all the, the lines that we, we see in uh, the data created during the mapathons, um, uh, you cannot always uh, go from point, point A to point B, uh, yeah, relying on, uh, on, uh, on these uh, lines because sometimes they stop or uh, they, it's not really a path there. So it was, uh, yeah, we had some fun with, uh, with this thing too. Um, so, uh, based on the, the data you created and also the data that we collected in the field, um, we could uh, create some uh, final outputs that were use, uh, useful for the field in the team. Um, for the team. Uh, so, um, we configured a dashboard which shows uh, the, uh, it's like a dynamic a dashboard which shows um, data on, on the camps, like the base map data that you created, and in addition, the, um, the points on the infrastructures. Uh, we have also configured a web application uh, for editing so that the teams in the field can edit, um, edit and improve the data. And the teams uh, in the field were um, backing the um, paper maps, like having a, a base map of the of the camps. 
so we use this um, all these data sets as um, as an input for uh, creating these paper maps and then printing them. Uh, what's the 2021 challenge? Uh, so um, the teams in the field, they enjoyed uh, a lot the work that we have done two years ago. So now they would like to extend all this work to all the, the, the rest of the camps in Ethiopia. So as you can see in red, there are 14 uh, camps that uh, need to, to be digitized. And for this, uh, we would need your help. Uh, because um, we need to, to have a similar approach um, to have the, um, the camps digitized in OpenStreetMap. And then based on these data sets, the team in the field will launch the field data collection. So again, a big thank, thanks to you all for all your contrib contribution two years ago. And we tell you with all our heart that we need again your help this year. Uh, and I'm sure that we'll um, together we'll make a great team. Have a nice evening and enjoy mapping. Bye.